of the internet. It is Sunday the 11th of June 2017. Unfortunately, sadly and regrettably, this is farewell to this wonderful place that we've been at. It's been too short. I kill myself for messing up that itinerary and having to cut one day out. That's my mistake. I'm learning from it. I don't want to leave here. The Navaria Heights has been fantastic. Sharon's been so wonderful. Her staff have been incredible. The place, I don't have to, I don't have to keep explaining how beautiful this place is. You guys have seen it. It's with a sad heart that I have to say farewell, but you come, you have to leave. It's life. Well, the time has now come to actually depart and say our final farewells. Sharon, thank you so much for hosting me here at your beautiful, beautiful resort. It's... I... It's my pleasure, Ben, and it's been really interesting having you here, and um, I'm glad I shared my Torino with you last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'll see that on the daily vlog. That was insane. I didn't expect Torino or the cream horn. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. You've not hosted a YouTuber at, at your lodge before, have you? I haven't, no. What was it about what I suggested to you that you uh, said yes to? Um, that's a great question, actually, and I have a very strange answer to that. I really don't know anything about YouTube. About six months ago, I took my boys on holiday, and my boys were constantly on their phone, and I couldn't think what they were doing, and then they showed me, and they said, Mommy, Mommy, look at this, it's so funny. And I said, Boys, but you're watching somebody's life. And they said, But that's so funny, it's so good. They were so addicted to it. We were in Morocco, and I was like, like, but we're in Morocco, get off your phones. But for them, that was it. This is where we are now mm. in today's lifestyle, in today's business. And so I said to my boy, okay, well, if you're going to do this, then you're going to have to start your own channel. Nice. Otherwise, you're not going to do it anymore. So what now, now he's got his own channel. And so when you emailed me, I thought, wow, okay, well, I'm going to get with the times and I'm going to say, yeah, come on wow. over and let's do it. It's a great story. I'm going to sub to, to your son now. I think there should be more encouragement for people to create. I'm just thrilled to have had this experience and you've treated me like, like a guest and you've given me all, like I've shared with you guys everything that you can do here and I want to come back and we'll, yeah. Well, well, we want to have you for sure. Everybody here is uh, just really thrilled that you've been here and that you can film this amazing beauty and put it online and everybody else all of you people out there yeah. please come to Sabu Sabu we only want the like-minded people that are ready for adventure we don't have late night parties here so if that's what you want then we can't no. cater that but if you want to come here experience this beauty and adventure find something that's uh, not so easy to find anymore in the world Fijian people are amazingly friendly very hospitable and it's very addictive here energy is a hundred percent awesome Awesome. That's that's the truth. It's mm -hmm. very addictive. Sharon, thank you so much, mm -hmm. and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Nakavakalevu. Nakavakalevu. Was that well done? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Upon arrival day, it was raining and grey, and when we leave, raining and grey. I mean, we did get some rain here, but not like rain, rain like this. Kind of funny that it's happening just as we leave. Tiny seats. Again, but only an hour flight, it's fine, don't worry about it. Take off, come back down, you're there. This is your seatbelt, this is killing us at all times of the flight. If you have mobile phones, this is your this will stop. Thank you, you wish you a pleasant flight. Welcome to Nandi guys, uh, upon disembarking for your safety, you'll be on the tarmac, so please make your way into the terminal where we'll bring your luggage to you. Thank you. <laughs> Back in Nandi Airport now, I have a local bus I've got to grab, local Fijian bus, which can be pretty cool, and that will take me to the northern tip of this main island, the mainland of Fiji, where I'm staying in a resort called Vatia Eco Resort. That will be for five days and four nights. It's my last resort here on this Fijian trip, and I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more of this main island of Fiji. Latoka? Turns out there's gonna be two buses. One bus to Latuka town, and then swap out for a secondary bus to go further north. Beautiful Fiji. Naka. Naka. This local bus will take me north towards Tavua, and I jump out at Vatia Junction. I just gotta pay someone, because no one's taking any money yet. There's no driver. It's good though, Fiji time. 
Vatia. Vatia intersection, Vatia road intersection. I feel better after paying my fare. I didn't want to not pay. Vanaga. Vatia Beach. Now I've got to make a call and get picked up. Ula. Ula, Ula. Just making a slight detour to get some cigarettes first. Ula. How are you? Good man, how are you? I'm good. Hi. Hola! Hola! How are you? Okay, welcome to Batia Beach Launch Resort. Did you hear that? I've been saying this all wrong. It's Batia. Good to hear it correctly pronounced. Batia is right as well. It's right and wrong. It's no wrong, no right. No wrong. <laughs> One catch here is uh, no electricity because this is an eco lodge, so they're running off solar power. So there'll be no charging of anything in the sense that if I'm gonna charge my gear, I've got to put it inside there. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna have to work out a little system, but I'm flexible at that. So this is the Vatia Beach Eco Lodge. The last place I'm staying here in my Fiji experience. And I'll be staying here for five days and four nights. And I'm gonna give you all a good look at this place or everything that's on offer here you're gonna see just like I am. First thing I've noticed about the Vatia Eco Resort and this is a little hot tip for anyone who's looking at coming to Fiji for a specific mission and that mission would be snorkeling and tropical waters. I'm just gonna heads up this particular lodge is not what you need. A lot of brown water a lot of rivers entering the ocean, so the coastal area is a little bit murky. The true tropical blue waters that you see in all the brochures, they're way off the coast. If you're really booking your Fijian experience and you're gonna feature snorkeling in that experience, I gotta say, this is not the spot for you to come to. This is what the beach looks like here. Now that said, there are definitely things to be done here. It's just not the beautiful, Nemo's and tropical fish, it's just, it's different. I mentioned earlier that there's many things to do here, aside from snorkeling. One of them, a sunset over water, look at this westerly aspect, it's gonna line straight down into the water, check this. Vatia Eco Lodge, day one. As you can tell, the sun is dipping. There's cane toads everywhere. And I've just spotted my very first big fat tree frog here in Fiji. Have a look at this guy. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I'm always running out of time on my vlog. Hey, if you like that content, Please do me a solid and subscribe here. Check out the previous vlog here and check out a random vlog here. And if you like doing the snappity snappity clickety clack, that's photography. You might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets here. Does that mean 20 seconds?